Hi, I'm Jim with Intech, and we're here today to talk about the newly redesigned 2024 Flyer Explorer. We've got a, a beautiful look of a completed unit here, but what I really want to show you to start with is the Intech basic frame of the trailer. So let's go back to our weld shop and have a look at that. So we're standing in the frame of the Flyer Explorer. You can see that this is a fully welded aluminum frame. One thing different about Intech is that we're a fabricator. So unlike many other manufacturers, we actually manufacture the base frame in-house because we want to be able to control the quality from the start of the trailer right on through the, to the finish. There are several unique features about the way Intech builds their product. Very small things, so take, a, take for example the aluminum extrusions that we install here where a window is going to be. You know, typically manufacturers will buy a plastic insert. We actually manufacture this aluminum extrusion in-house and those are done at, at every window cutout. Keep in mind that every single cutout in this sidewall, whether it's for a window, a door, a furnace, a water fill, those cutouts are 100% framed in aluminum. So there's a lot of strength there and a lot of beef into this trailer. Very lightweight in terms of being all aluminum, but yet very, very well built. Like on the front end, for example, the, where the spare tire is mounted to, that goes into quarter inch plate, aluminum plate, on the front wall of the trailer. Wherever we're mounting in the floor for your for your tie downs, we use uh, aluminum plate as well. So they're not just going into aluminum tube, they're going into aluminum plate. So a very sturdy finish for those 500 pound tie downs. Now let's go back and take a look at a completed flyer so you can see exactly what the finished product looks like. So we've been back to look at the base frame and the fully welded cage that sits on top of that base frame. Now let's take a look at the completed flyer explorer here. Got some great little features to talk about. First of all, we've got the uh, slide out kitchen here that is an option on the trailer. What you're gonna get is a two burner gas stove and that's supported by an LP tank on the other side. You've got an LP quick connect underneath the slide out kitchen. You've also, also got another great feature here in a cooler that also serves, can be, a, can be a refrigerator or a freezer. It is thermostatically controlled in the back. It can also serve a dual function in that if you maybe you're taking a trip where you're not using the trailer, you can actually put this inside your tow vehicle and plug it into 12 volt and you'll have that for another function as well. It also comes with handles so you can uh, conveniently carry it anywhere you need to. You're going to see a water pump switch here. Uh, the reason that's there because you do have an eight and a half gallon fresh water system. It is cold water only, uh, but there is a fresh water uh, quick connect uh, underneath the trailer and this, this unit comes with a hose with a quick connect so you can hook up hook that right, uh, right up to that. And uh, you know, great for cleaning off, uh, maybe some dirt off bikes or you know, cleaning up the dog, that kind of a thing. So uh, a good little feature to have in your trailer. So, and you can see the table up front here and that's what it's gonna store on top of this cooler as you're going down the highway. Heavy duty step here on the side if you wanna step up. Now this unit does have an optional roof rack system installed on it. And on top of that, you can see it does have the bat wing awning, the 270 bat wing awning. So incredibly good coverage with that awning on the side of this trailer. A side entry door that gives you, uh, it's a nice wide opening, but it's also got a big window. So if, uh, you can see, see outside the window if somebody's coming up to your trailer in the, in the uh, evening. So we've moved around to the front of the trailer here. So what you're gonna find is, uh, first of all, we've got a nice table here. Again, this is the table that Intech makes in-house because we're a fabricator. This actually stores on your slide out kitchen on top of your cooler when you're traveling. So uh, great thing is where it's located, it's actually stored under your bat wing awning. So if you've got inclement weather, that'll help keep, the, keep it off. So if you're using, doing a little prep work here before you're doing some cooking, it's a nice little setup here. Second thing we've got, you got your spare tire mounted on the front wall here. That, that of course is mounted into quarter inch aluminum backer plate, so it's a very heavy duty backer plate. Right below it, you're gonna find your storage box, very heavy duty storage box. This is where you're gonna find your electrical cutoff, your battery, and also your power cord and any, maybe a hose if you wanna store items in there like that. Great little out of the way place if you wanna keep things, some things outside of your trailer. Another item you're gonna find is your LP tank. It's a 20 pound LP tank that will serve two functions. Of course, you've got your quick connect over on the curb side of the trailer for your uh, stove that's in your slide out kitchen. It will also take care of a 12,000 BTU furnace, which is an option on the trailer. Uh, so that, that's what the, the, uh, the LP tank will do for this trailer. On this side of the trailer, you've got your fresh water fill. Of course, you've got your gravity fill and your, and your uh, pressure line to hook up to. 
You've got your uh, antenna for your radio. Here's the exhaust for your 12,000 BTU furnace. Here's your hookup for your 30 amp service. Right behind that is going to be your solar port, and that is uh, a is tied into a 15 amp panel or a 15 amp breaker inside your fuse panel, inside your breaker panel. So your limitation there is your if you have a solar suitcase, your charge controller for that solar suitcase can't can't be any larger than a 15 amp. So keep that in mind. Notice the ATP we've got on the bottom of the trailer. It gives it a nice rugged look, but also serves a purpose because obviously this area down for the last 24 inches down is where you could get the most nicks and dings in the trailer. So it does a nice job of, of keeping that protected. You're also going to notice up high here, you've got uh, vents in the trailer. Uh, you've got one up high in the front and, and you'll have another one at the back of the trailer down low. Those are designed to help, so if you're, you've got uh, maybe a side-by-side -side or a, a motorcycle or something like that and a, any gas-powered vehicles inside the trailer, uh, you can keep those open going down the road and that'll help keep the fumes outside of the trailer going down the road. Going to notice the big old tip out here on the, uh, on the road side of the trailer, which is standard on the Explorer. Um, it is rated for 1,100 pounds, so you never need that kind of weight, but it is a very heavy-duty uh, setup for this for this uh, trailer and there is an option for this on the curbs for a second option for this on the curb side of the trailer if you wanted to go that direction instead and you would lose your side door on the uh, curb side of the trailer so that would be a difference there so let's walk on inside of the trailer and take a look at a few more of the uh, features that we've got okay one thing you're going to notice initially when you walk into the uh, redesigned flyer explorer is the six inches of additional height in the trailer prior to this it had five foot six of interior height now we're up to six, uh, six foot tall. So it's just a little bit more usable for some of the folks that are, that are just a little bit taller. I'm 5'10", so it's nice to be able to stand up full height in the trailer. See, it does have the air conditioner here, uh, which does have a soft start built into it as well, uh, which is brand new for, uh, for 2024. Also got a max air fan, which is thermostat, not, uh, not just thermostatic control, but it also has a rain sensor built into it as well. So if you leave it running and you take off for the day, if it starts raining, it will shut itself down. And that's controlled by a, a wall, uh, a, a remote uh, on the wall that, uh, that sits on the wall. So again, we talked about the slide out or the uh, tip out on the outside, 1100 compound capacity. So you've got uh, good capacity, it's tremendous capacity with that. You've got some 12 volt hookups here if you need to uh, with the, uh, 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 charge a phone, that kind of thing, if you're plugged in. Again, you notice your 12,000 BTU, BTU furnace. In your floor, I talked about the black coin floor just a little bit. There are six 500 pound tie downs built into the floor, and they're tied into an eighth inch backer plate underneath the floor, so uh, they serve a, a really good purpose if you're bringing in several bikes, maybe, or motor, a couple of motorcycles, that kind of a thing. You have eight foot one inches, it's kind of a key, key measurement. You've got eight foot one inches from this cabinet to the back door when it's closed. So that's uh, something to keep in mind when you're looking to explore as to what's gonna fit inside this trailer. As you look at the front end of the Flyer Explorer on the interior here, you're gonna notice the, the cabinets, first of all, up high here. And keep in mind that Intech, at Intech, we build all of our own cabinets in-house because we're a fabricator. We want to be able to control that quality. So up here, you've got great storage for you know things that you wanna get out of the way in the trailer. You've got a storage area here as well. And that closed, it's got a soft close on it, and it's built, uh, has heavy duty magnets. Down here, you've got a couple of additional access panels with some really cool red accent lighting behind it. In here, behind this, behind this storage area, you do have an access panel. So what that'll grant you is access to, if you want to maybe winterize your trailer, uh, get access to your plumbing, you can do that through that panel there, which unscrews. Right here, we talked about this on the outside. Here's your 12,000 BTU furnace. You've got uh, a couple of ducts that, that'll push air out towards you this way. You've got a stereo built in here with two speakers on either side. It is a Bluetooth type stereo. And then here's your access, or here's your breaker panel. Uh, so easy access to that as well. So appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. That's, that is the, uh, the, this is the brand new 2024 Flyer Explorer with the six inches of additional height. Uh, so a really great look. And we hope you uh, will take the time to maybe go to intech.com to our website and have a look uh, at additional items on this and other products that we manufacture. Of course, we're on all the social media sites as well. And uh, we certainly appreciate it and hope you can earn your business.